Why did the gas price controls of 1973 cause long lines at the pump? Why does Disneyland charge less if you live nearby? At what price are people willing to risk their life? Hi, I'm John Gruber. I'm professor of economics at MIT, and I study why we do the things we do, why we buy the things we buy, and how we can improve our quality of life in a world of limited resources. In this course, we'll explore these topics through the three fundamental questions of economics. What goods and services get produced? How are they produced? And who gets them? And all these three questions are going to be answered by understanding the mechanism of prices. The price of food, education, labor, insurance, healthcare, and so on. We'll spend the first third of the course learning about consumers, the next third about producers, and the last third about applications and special topics. I think microeconomics is a little bit like engineering, but instead of trying to minimize the amount of steel in a bridge or maximize the safety of a car, we're trying to optimize collective well-being. To achieve this, we use mathematical models of human behavior that give shape and weight to slippery concepts such as happiness. Throughout the course, we'll check these models against empirical results from history and research, and we'll consider how our new insights can inform the creation of good policy. MIT has a special history in the field of economics. Around the time of the Second World War, the economist Paul Samuelson developed a revolutionary new curriculum for microeconomics, one with a foundation of formal mathematics. He developed it right here at MIT, perhaps in the very lecture hall that I use today. We'll use the mathematical models he developed, the models that make economics such a powerful tool. Since marginal change is at the heart of economics, you should come into the class with a solid understanding of high school level calculus. By the end of the course, you'll have a deeper understanding of the complexities of public policy and a mental toolkit to help you make informed decisions whenever you face a trade-off. You'll also be prepared to take further, more specialized courses in economics. I hope you'll join me in 14100X as we learn the tools to answer some of the fundamental questions of the human experience using microeconomics.